Hey guys, Mike here from Las Vegas Desert Rats. I would like to give you an update on how uh, our week four went. But before that, just want to share with you those 10 people that are watching me. I got pretty lucky and scored free tickets to the uh, local Las Vegas show called Bloom and Group. And my wife and I went and uh, saw the show. It was amazing. And there was a part in the show where we picked somebody from the audience. Uh, I don't want to spoil it too much in case you haven't seen it, but you basically like get a piece of, I think it's marshmallow, and they give it to you, and you throw it, and the guy, the blue blue face guy, catches it with, with, with his mouth. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <clears throat> anyway, uh, out of like a thousand people, or whatever got the, in the audience, they managed to pick me, so it was fun. So I've never been part of any show before. So I enjoyed it tremendously. And back to chess. So... In round four, we played a team called Philadelphia Inventors. And Philadelphia was 3-0 uh, going into this match, one of the best teams in the league. They fielded three grandmasters, uh, top three boards. And so did we. Our lineup was Timur Gareev, Kaden Trov, Jacek Stopa from Poland made his debut for us. And uh, we rotated different guys in board four. So Dan Durham played um, one game. Didn't go well for him this time. He lost very quickly. He got his queen trapped in the opening. Uh, and then I believe uh, we were down early on, <clears throat> like one and a half to two and a half. When all said and done, um, Timur scored two out of four. And he was he lost both of his games with white color. But he he bounced back very strongly in, in, in the fourth round game where he beat Andrei Vovk with black. And Andrei Vovk is like 2,630 fide, and he had the best score in the league going into this match. So that was a huge win for Timur, and it's a beautiful game. <clears throat> and Caden got 2.5 out of 4. Um, he was 2.5 out of 3, and then he lost in the last game, unfortunately. Jacek uh, bounced back strongly. He started badly. He lost his first game, but bounced back and finished with... Um, two and a half out of four as well, I believe. And on board four, Alberto played one game. He actually lost on time in a very, very playable position. Unfortunately, he timed out, so he didn't, he didn't bring us any points. Elliot Lu played two games only. He drew them both. I jokingly call him Anish Giri this time because he couldn't beat anybody. <clears throat> but he had a really good game against uh, Grandmaster Smith with black. And uh, the score was seven and a half to seven and a half. Came down to the wire. Uh, Elliot Lou had seconds on his clock, and just on increments he survived, and and we drew the match, 8-8. Eight, eight. It was an incredible match, hard-fought match, a lot of interesting games, and um, once I finish recording this video, I'm going to work on the blog that's going to uh, highlight the most interesting moments of the, of the match. I'm going to put the blog on chess.com for you guys. Meanwhile, we also had a Twitch broadcast. The Twitch uh, link for our broadcast is twitch.tv slash chess events. And usually we would have last two broadcasts ar archived. And <clears throat> the most interesting part of a broadcast, I mean, I realized most people don't have three, four hours to watch the whole thing. The most instructive parts are where after the match is over, we interview some of our players and have them share uh, their thoughts on the game. Those um, interviews are very instructive. You can learn a lot just by watching and, and learning how good players think. As such, this week we have Caden talk about one of his wins. Um, and Jacek also talked about one of his games and Elliot as well. So if you follow our Twitter, which is twitter.com slash lvdesertrats, uh, I uh, post all the links and the time where the video of those interviews starts. So I highly recommend you check it out. It's like basically getting like a free lesson from Grandmaster or Fide Master in Elliot's case. Really, really instructive. I myself learn a lot from those videos as well. <clears throat> so we have one and a half points out of four. There is two matches left. Uh, we are facing a very strong team from London this time. London Lions. And we play them this time on Saturday, February 11th. The match will start, I believe, at 11.50 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, it's still been decided who's going to play on the team, but definitely Caden uh, is going to play. He's going to play every match. Hopefully we can feel this strong team, and hopefully we can do well, and then we'll go from there. Uh, looking forward to that match. It should be, should be a very, 
uh, exciting to play a team uh, from another part of the world, a strong team. And then it's hard to say if we have a chance to make playoffs. I mean, we're not doing very well, but we're fighting, you know, and our schedule honestly has been very tough. We played a lot of good teams. Uh, we played San Diego, who are 4 now, and we were very close to not losing to them. We played uh, Philadelphia, who is 3 and a half to, to half. We played very strong Rio Grande team, who they, I believe, are 3 and one And then we're going to face San Jose, who's like an incredibly strong team in the last round. So it, it's a really tough schedule for us. And we're just doing our best and having fun and, and playing. Last but not least, uh, I'm going to talk about it again. If you guys follow this and you want to help us out, our fundraiser, money will go to the players. Uh, we're still looking for sponsorship. Uh, the guys are working the bots off and it would be nice to get them rewarded um, in some way. So I'm going to keep doing that and hopefully we'll get some support. Every $20 help. Um, so youcaring.com is, is our fundraiser. Thank, thank you guys for watching this and look forward to more updates from Twitter. I'm going to have blogs and other stuff. And until next time, signing off, Mike.